All right, ladies and gentlemen, August 13th, Fighters Rep 10. We're here with the heavyweight who's going to make his debut. Tell us a little bit about yourself. What's up, guys? My name is Robert Jimenez, fighting out of Dog Pound here in Norwalk, California. Uh, can't wait for August 13th. Let's get it rolling. All right, man. Tell us a little bit about the Dog Pound. Uh, Dog Pound is a local gym here in my hometown. It's, it's in Norwalk. Um, you know, a lot of great classes. We do boxing, kickboxing, jujitsu, wrestling. Really big on wrestling. We also got boot camps, weight room. So a great place to come, learn some learn some good fighting techniques and to work out, man. It's just great. I'm, I'm happy to be here. I'm happy I get to come out of this place. How do you, how'd you find out that you were fighting on Fighters Rep 10? Um, my coach just said, hey, you want to you wanna fight soon? And I was like, yeah, let's do it. So he matched me up and I guess I'm fighting out of Fighters Rep and I'm super honored to be fighting out of there. Do you know anything about your opponent? Um, I, know, I know about his height his weight and his record that's all i know that kind of happens at this yeah. level like there's not a whole lot to, to to read is your opponent having his debut too or has he had a fight oh uh, he's know? i'm pretty sure he's had a fight i think he's had a fight already does that so, intimidate you or no no i mean it is intimidating obviously it's going to be fighting we're going to go in there blow for blow i'm just i'm just psyched you know i'm excited i can't wait to get in there win or lose i'm gonna give him my all what does the win mean for you a win for me, um, not gassing out in the fight, you know, <laughs> not gassing out, being able to fight with my heart out, you know, it'll be, it'll be great to put on the show for everybody. Did you really have to focus on your conditioning to make sure that didn't happen? Oh, yes, yes, super, you know, heavyweights, we gotta, we gotta condition a lot, like, you know, I worked just alone trying to drop to this weight cut that they had me from 320 to 265, man, not too bad, you know, so it's going pretty good. All right, man. What can people expect from you on uh, August 13th at Fighters Rep 10? Um, that's a good question. To, to not blink, you know, don't just think, oh, it's a heavyweight fight, you know, it's going to be slow. Nobody's going to get, you know, nobody's going to go like the, the last round. But just wait and see, you know, we pack a lot of punches and a lot of surprises. You know, something I missed, I wanted to ask you is what, what made you decide to fight? Uh... I started wrestling uh, around ninth grade year, and then uh, coming here, you know, uh, lifting, wrestling, I would watch everybody else fight, but I've always liked it. I've always liked the idea of it, always liked watching it, so I decided, you know what, I'm going to jump into it, and then little by little, I decided to just, let's make it into a career if I love it so much. That's cool, man. All right, man, we can't wait to see you. Is there anyone you want to thank before we go? Yeah, I want to thank, obviously, you know, the guys here at Dog, Dog Pound. Uh, obviously, first, Coach Hector, the owner, you know, one of my coaches, great guy, because without him, I wouldn't be here. Especially Coach Jesse, Coach Marcelo, Coach Carlos, because out of everybody, they put up with so much of my crap, and, you know, day in and day out, so I thank them a lot. And the last three people I want to thank are, you know, my brothers back home, uh, Juan Gonzalez, Martin Gonzalez, and Jerry Gonzalez because without them, without inspiring me and motivating me to get better, I wouldn't have been here right now. So I'm super thankful for all of them. Awesome, man. Can't wait to see you on August 13th. Oh, Fighters Rep sure. 10.